we start over again and on this new person we say that they went to a chemical, we can now pick chemical exposure and it will open up different things rather than just smoke. So again, you can pick your name, employee number, rank, and now we can pick type of chemical. So we've got a long list of chemicals that you can choose from. You can also type in the chemical here or if it's unknown, you can type in unknown. And you can also go back and you can pick multiple chemicals. You could pick your state of matter, whatever it is for the chemical. And then you can pick your routes. We added a few more routes of inhalation, absorption, ingestion. You can pick all of these or just whatever applies. And then you can talk about your level of PPE. This is good for the hazmat team because they can take a picture of what their PPE looks like and any serial numbers or any forms that they have. And then they can pick their level of PPE. And if any of us are in a chemical uh, exposure before we understand that it is a chemical exposure, you can do the same exposure form and say, hey, we were in our structural turnouts with our SCBA on, and then we called the hazmat team, and we're filling this out. The next one is our PPE malfunction. We can hit this quick button of no, and there will be no warning screen pop up. But just remember, if we go into our PPE mal malfunction and hit yes, we now have our chemical protective clothing and anything else that fails, if we click those with a yes, this warning screen will pop up. This is just to remind you that with a PPE malfunction, we need to fill out a City of Mesa incident report that's on Zoe. So this will just pop up to remind you of that, to take a picture of any PPE malfunction just to catalog that. And then you can go over your activity. We added different activities for hazmat team. And then again, how long you were in there for your duration. And that's it. Then we would just come over here, we would pick our action, and then we would import our CAD data to get all of that CAD data linked to that call number, and then we would hit validate, and this will get sent off to all the right places. If you have any questions, please contact your wellness captain or your safety captain.